Well, good morning, friends. Today we will discuss uh, next part of vocabulary. As you know, English literature is very vast, and in English literature you will find almost 10 lakh vocabulary, which is impossible to memorize. But in my opinion, and whatever those experts say, that we can memorize entire vocabulary if we know the Greek roots, the Latin roots, and the French roots. So English literature is based upon all these Greek roots, Latin roots. So let's, today we will discuss all these Greek roots, right? Suppose we have name, logi, sophi, phobia, mania, lokua, all these Greek roots we are discussing. First of all, we will discuss what this side meaning. You see, suppose side, C-I-D-E. Side means, in Greek literature, killing. If side is killing, we can say suicide, homicide, H O M I C I D, homicide, sorrowy side, regicide, side, then patricide, matricide, we can say also matricide, matricide. Then factory side, right? Then you can say also your side. What I mean to say, side means killing. If it is suicide, we say that sui means self. As you know, Supreme Court says about so motto. So means self. Side means killing. So suicide means self killing. If you kill yourself, then it is your suicide. So suppose you see homicide. Homie means human beings. So if you kill human beings, that is known as your suicide, right? And let's see this uh, sorrow side. In Greek literature, this sorrow means this sorrow means wife. So wife killing is known as your sorrow side. And what is regicide? Regicide means suppose one king is here. Suppose one king is here, right? And he has one kingdom like this. Then all these subjects or praja we say are known as your rejai. R E G I L E. So whenever rejai is there, that means king is there. So if I say regicide means killing of rejai, killing of kingdom. As a result, we mean in English literature that killing of your king is known as regicide. Another word is your patricide. What is patricide? Actually, patricide means Father killing. P A T R. P A T R. Pattern means your father in Greek literature. So if it is patricide, that means killing of father. And if it is your matter, M A T R, not A T T T T R. Matter is your happening or some incident. But here this matter in Greek literature, we mean that is your mother. So if I say matricide, that means killing of your mother. Suppose if I say Yuxericide, U-X-O, U-X-O-R-I-C-I-D-E-I-D-E. -I -I -D -E. So side is your killing and Yuxeri is your wife. So killing of somebody's wife is known as your Yuxericide. Shall I work out this? Okay, all right. You see, another word is, suppose insecticide. What is insecticide? You just see here. Insecticide. Right? Side is your killing as usual. And insect means just you see this set and in. So insect means actually your, uh, you see this uh, set, bala. set means your, suppose intersection. Intersection means crossing of like this. Suppose two lines crossing each other. This is called, this point is known as intersect. Set means connection, so intersection, interjection, all this. So inside set plus sign, that is your killing of insecticide. And what is pesticide like this? Killing of pesticide or killing of all the spray whatever in agriculture field or crop field. So right? So now we will discuss. So we have already discussed side, patricide, matricide, regicide, sororicide, all these side we have discussed. Now we will discuss what is logi. First see this word, logi. What is logi? Logi means in Greek literature that is your study of science. So if I say philosophy, 
actually just see here philosophy means philo is your knowledge sophy is your study means knowledge study or study of wisdom is known as philosophy and for your kind information i will mention here that philosophy and religion is two different words never confuse with religion with philosophy and philosophy with religion religion is set of belief suppose you are muslim or quran religion one type of religion islam religion that is mentioned in quran bhagavad gita jagannath culture that is hinduism christianity so in bible so if you confuse with religion with philosophy that will be problem so dear students just remember philosophy means study of wisdom knowledge but in case of religion it is your study or what are you say belief system asta hindi mein aapko kehte hain jo asta so philosophy means you are study of wisdom or knowledge and that wisdom is pure knowledge that is the way to god anyway i have also one term god is here you can imagine that what is the exact meaning of god actually god stands for you see many philosophers have told that god means g o d g stands for generator o stands for originator and d stands for destructor so god stands for originator that means the generator originator destructor so these three words combine your or comprise that god and we are called man i have mentioned man also here you can see that what is mentioned you see what is your man m a n man a m is your maya a is your soul atma and a is your nirbhar and soul itself is if you see your soul that means subject of universal life my dear friends it is related to something related to philosophy just to be careful here that what is soul s o u l that is subject of universal life so subject of universal life is known as your soul suppose if i say in philosophy what is sir i am teaching you so if i say what is sir just remember s i r sir s means your satisfaction i means imagination and r means realization so when a teacher when a man with his pedagogy teaching method satisfies your imagination with realization is known as your soul so okay now we come to our discussion we will discuss all these words in a very short time let's see your phobia so phobia means actual fear this phobia means actual fear then what is fear just see phobia means fear if i say aerophobia that means fear of your air if i say androphobia androphobia phobia is fear andro in greek literature means human beings or male person human being that is male person male wala if you fear male wala then your uh, androphobia if i say xenophobia suppose xenophobia g e n o p h o b i a xenophobia actually gay means your women so xenophobia means fear of women all these things so just remember that phobia means fear if i say bibliophobia just see here bibliophobia b i b l i o biblio means actually book so if you fear book then that is your bibliophobia but if you love people book that is bibliomania just remember mania means love and affection obsession we call it so if you are excessively attached to anything we call it mania or obsession and if you fear something out of uh, your uh, uh, whatever mind is saying then you will definitely say that is phobia so mania means obsession or affection or we can say love and phobia means that is your fear so dear friends just remember phobia any word adding with phobia or suffix that is your fear and any word added with mania that is your fear now we'll discuss uh, all those uh, things uh, now that is your tele and ism tele means distance if i say tele t e l e tele means distance 
So telegraph means distance thing. That means if you write a letter from distance, then that is known as your telegraph. If I say television, so television, television means vision means to see, to look, television distance. And the box we call an idiot box, that is television, that means if you are watching something or experiencing something from a far distance, it's known as your television. So now we'll discuss uh, your temp. Actually temp is not heat here, actually temp means time. Temperature is your uh, hot color thing, but temp means time. So if I say contemporary, means from some I mean whatever happening here today, or in this uh, month, in today, or today's night, that is your contemporary, in a one year or a calendar year. So temp contemporary means uh, what is happening around a year, contemporary period, contemporary history, contemporary knowledge, contemporary writers. So all these things are there. Anyway, and what is ism? Actually, ism means your Gandhiism, Buddhism, all these things are ism. Suppose if, if you study Gandhi literature, Gandhi philosophy, non violent scholar thing, freedom struggle, we call it Gandhiism. If I say monoism, if you study one thing particular, God, that is monoism. If I say philosophy, study of wisdom and knowledge. If I say panosophy or pantosophy, that means study of universal knowledge. God is very powerful, so he knows everything. And we call him omnipotent, omniscient, omnipotent, God, thing. So please remember, omni means all. So omnipresent means present everywhere. Omniscient means knows everything. All these things. Uh, now we'll discuss uh, some important things uh, like your like the aerophobia means that's your fear of air. And kirosophy means please remember kirosophy means actually kiro means palm. C H I R O or kiro or kiro we say. So palm reading is known as your kirosophy. That's in astrology. What is astrology, my dear? Astro means heavenly bodies, like your meteors, uh, planets, your stars, all these things. So astrology means logi your study, and astro is your heavenly bodies. That means Saturn planet, Jupiter planet, all these moon, Mars, planet, all these things, whatever impact on the human being on the surface of Earth, we call this as your uh, astrology. Anyway, and what is uh, your uh, acoustics? Actually, acoustics. If you analyze the word acoustics. That is known as your study of sound. So if you say that we are studying sound, that is known as acoustics. In uh, big, big uh, cinema halls, you will find that we are having acoustics lesson. That means that will absorb the echo sound or whatever the sound is in normal condition. So that you can enjoy the movie or music. So anyway, anesthesiology. That means study of anesthesia. That's the medical term. So angelology is study of angels. Angelology means study of angels. So just see angel plus logy, so angelology. And now we will discuss uh, only very few or you may say very important things uh, like uh, crypto name. Before that, let's discuss what is name. Just remember, keep patience. N Y M. N Y M. Name means your name. Just see name means name. So if I say crypto means, means secret things, secret things. If I say synonym, synonym means similar, so similar things. If I say antonym, anti means against, opposite. So antecedent river means, suppose one river is here, another river is touching there, then that is your antecedent river. But in case of this anti, means your opposite words. Suppose good, bad, right, right, wrong. That is your under. So kakonomi means actually kako means C A C O. Kako means ugly or bad. Another word I have already told you that the phony means sound. So kakophony means ugly sound. And eu means your good. So euphony means that is good sound, melancholy, very nice thing. Another thing is patronym. The names which are derived from father, pater, father, Greek literature, that is your father, pater means your father. And pseudonym means, suppose you are writing one book, but you have not mentioned that you are writing the book. That is your uh, pseudonym. If I say, suppose, triskaidophobia, if I say triskaidophobia, just see this word. 
try skydiving phobia just listen this very nice try means 3 skydiving means 10 Three plus ten, that is thirteen. And if you fear thirteen, then we call it trichophobia. And what is octophobia? Actually, octo means eight. Octo plus phobia, that is known as if you fear eight vala digits. One, two, three, four, like this. Okay, eight. If you fear eight vala digit, that is your octophobia. Anyway, we'll discuss uh, some uh, words uh, which has uh, much importance in English grammar. And uh, if, if you discuss that, then uh, doubts for grammar or the pure for grammar will be there. Will be there. Will be no more there forever. So these are the things we'll discuss in two to three minutes. Then in next class, we'll discuss entire Oxford Dictionary so that you will be in a position to memorize within a hundred days two lakh sets of words or two lakh words. So when anyway, we start with uh, this, uh, you can say grammar. Actually, grammar means very fast thing. But in grammar, you will find suppose verb. What is verb? What is noun? What is pronoun? Just imagine. What is adjective? Right. So just imagine this. What is verb? Actually, verb is derived from the Greek word that is verb. Means action. Means word. means whatever you do that is known as your verb but if i say noun you see that is derived from greek literature that is name means name <coughs> name means name so any name is known as your noun you may see or you may not see you may feel or you may not feel but that bears a name bears a some sort of a, a shape and size in mind or in this concrete form or abstract form that's your noun so whatever you see and whatever you don't see that is noun and never think that if you cannot see that is noun not noun suppose if you are not touching or so that is noun suppose air if i say air 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 can you see air no but it is noun can you touch air no it is felt so that's noun so anything which has noun is known as your uh, noun and what is pronoun just see pro means before and noun means name which is used before noun is known as pronoun right what is pronoun noun and added as pronoun pehle se jo laga hua hai usko kehte hain pronoun pronoun and if i say predict pre plus dict actually dict means speak and pre means before so before you speak that is future things so suppose astrologer they speak before year, one month two month three month one year two year five year ten is like this so we call it your uh, prediction and what is adjective my dear actually adjective means just you see if i say ad plus adjective it may be noun actually it's noun if i add something maybe qualities maybe good qualities to the noun we call this adjective that means whatever adds to the noun is known as your adjective what is noun that is name n y m name so my dear friends we we'll, we we'll discuss so many things and this is the second class and in future we will next plan the uh, next class uh, that is your oxford dictionary medical dictionary and how to memorize that thank you very much wish you happy learning at gsu such as thank you very much